people, you're out there emailing us, calling us, uh, asking us questions on Facebook, and I'm here with Digital Lion Lance Bachman to give you your answers. Lance, What's going on, Bernie? How you doing, brother? I'm doing wonderful, my friend. Let's jump in. All right, let's jump right in. So the number one biggest question that we're getting right now has to do a lot with uh, the COVID-19, the shelter in place ending, whether or not the government wants it to. And Apple actually has data, I think, that shows this. I know you're big into data. You know a lot about this. So why don't you tell the people about what's going on? So Apple and Foursquare just came out on Monday saying that literally in the U.S. that the traffic pattern has doubled. How Map Apple uses is by asking directions, right? So it's people asking directions to go to places, right? Which a lot of people use Apple Maps to go in your directions. So when that's happening, they're monitoring everything you're doing. It's doubled in the last three weeks. So think about that, it's doubled. People aren't sheltering in place. Grocery store visits are back to pre-COVID-19 visits, getting directions to grocery stores have gone backwards. So think about that. Hair salons, interestingly enough, and beauty salons that were about 75, 80% down are down to only 40%. So that means more people are doing it. People just are not sheltering in place what I thought was interesting though was, this data was released on Monday, right? And I was looking at it, I was going through it, and I have some other data I can go through. All of a sudden on Tuesday, I see a New York's timepiece saying, kids are being infected by this, and they have a kid with a breathing tube in there. I'm like, well, is there a correlation or causation of, they see big data coming out, and then this piece drops on Tuesday? Where were this for the last three, four months of children weren't really significantly at risk? Now you're on the front page of newspapers with a child and a breathing tube. I don't know, I'm not a political person, but you gotta look at something when the data drops like that and then the next day a piece drops like that. Yeah, what are you gonna, I mean, that's, that's what the number's saying. We're a numbers company around here. So that kind of pivots us right into our next question. Which I will attach the link to the article showing that data and you can make it what, of what you want, you'll see Things are going back up. Rural America has really gone back up drastically. Some of the cities have gone down, but right now, going back to takeout is back to normal across before pre-COVID-19, going for takeout. Do I think people are sheltering in place the way they were? Absolutely not, not even close. Yeah, and I think like we said, the second question that people wanted to know, which you kind of hinted on back there, was what kind of businesses are kind of returning to normal after the COVID, uh, 19 outbreak and what's kind of like looking like it was before things started shutting down. So tell me about that. The home service industry is just booming. It's skyrocketing. People are investing in their homes. They have nothing else to do right now. I think what you're going to see really struggle are the gyms, hair salons, and not that people, I think people go right back to the beauty salons. They're not coming back at all, right? No, I think they're not open right now in a lot of places, but I know I'm not afraid to get my hair cut. I don't think majority of people are afraid. I mean, it's just, I don't think people are going to be afraid to get their nails done. I think What's gonna come out over the next few weeks is people start getting more and more educated and more and more data. They're gonna say, I gotta make decisions for myself. And as you see across the country, businesses are just starting to open. And what an interesting piece was, I don't know if the woman in Texas went to jail for seven days or not yet, but the judge threatened her with seven days in jail, but yet they let so many people out of prison in that same county. I just don't, like, I'm not here to talk politics. I just don't understand it is, yeah. I'm just trying to make a living and support my family. I'm not breaking a crime. Yep. You're going to put me in jail, but yet a criminal that was in jail gets released. Gets released to make up the COVID-19 people. I forgot all about that. That's yeah. all right, Lance. So there you have it. So number one, the shelter in place is not happening despite what governments are trying to do. Number two, home services, e-commerce, businesses like that are still booming. I'm going to add the links to everything I know to here, and I'll show you the actual graphs in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram, at Lance Bachman. Digital Lion out.